Hello Metricoolers, I'm Alex, a US social media manager for Metricool. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can plan and manage your social media content using our planner feature. This one may be a long one because you're going to learn how to use our multi-posting feature, find the best times to post for your social media content, as well as other features like how to find the best hashtags, how to preview your feed, and so much more. If you missed the previous tutorials, I did teach you how to create your own Metropole account, how to connect your social media accounts to our tool, as well as how to deep dive into our analytics section. Don't forget that we also provided a code so that you can try Metropole Premium free for 30 days. Make sure that you check the description box for that information. And with that, let's go on and start planning. <laughs> So today we are going to talk about our planner feature, all things planner. So as you can see from my screen, I have a pretty filled out planner. This is my current planner view. I'm going to give you a brief overview of everything that is on the planner page. And then I will go into detail showing you how to schedule out um, a post with some multi-posting, a video with some multi-posting, and then I'll also just give you some general tips with some of the features that we also have within the planner. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, this is our planner view. As you can see, there are on the left hand side, there is your time. So you can change it depending on where you are in your time zone. I have mine set to where I am. And then on the right hand side, you're going to see a bunch of symbols. So let's start with this magnifying glass. The magnifying glass is just a preference feature. So you can zoom in out of your calendar or you can keep it pretty zoomed out. I personally prefer to keep it at one just so that I can get a more general view. But of course, this is going to er this is going to vary for so many different people. Then if you go on to this little next icon right here, you'll see that you can sort by status or by network. If you were actually to click select none for these, you would see that it automatically clears your calendar. And that's because you have nothing toggled on. And this is really nice because you can really customize how you want to see your calendar that day. So let's say you don't necessarily want to see everything that you have scheduled out. Let's say you just want to see the posts that have been published already for the week. So you click on published and sent, and then you click on select all for all those posts. And you can see here that if I get out of this, you'll see that since it's Thursday, it's showing me all the previous posts from Sunday to Thursday that have already been published. And you can do this for many different things. You can check to see if you know, you have any draft posts, I don't currently have any, or you can click select all. And then let's say you just want to see your LinkedIn posts for the week. So here we go, you can see two LinkedIn posts for the week, or let's say you want to see Instagram and LinkedIn, you'll get that. And you'll also even get a post that hasn't gone up yet, as well as published posts. So this is just a really nice customizable feature. I'm going to go ahead and toggle on everything again, so you can see the full calendar. Lastly, this little calendar icon here is going to be your view. So I like to keep it on the weekly view. That's just my personal preference, but this will depend on you, how you batch your content, all dependent on your preferences. You can sort by day. So here, for example, you can toggle to the arrows and it'll take you to each day and you can scroll down on the times. Then you can also look at it as a month view if you would like to see a more zoomed out view of what your entire month looks like and you could scroll down for that as well. So again, I like to keep mine on a weekly view. So we're going to head back to the weekly view. This is just, again, my personal preference and I really enjoy it. I want to talk about our best times feature next too, since we are over here in the right hand corner. So our best times feature is an amazing feature so that you can select the optimal time to schedule your posts. And the way that we do this is a very easy way to understand. We do it on a gradient, so it shows you right here how to use it, but better is going to be darker, whereas lighter is going to be worse. And you can see the best times for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. It is important to note that for Instagram and TikTok, they do need to be professional accounts. You will not see the best times if they aren't. We also further get into detail with the active followers. So if you toggle this on or off, it'll show the percentage of your active followers. I personally like to keep this on because I do really like those in-depth notifications so that I know when I want to post something. But if you don't want that on, you can always toggle it off and just work based off of the gradient. However, I like to have extra details. 
So for example, here I have a post that I want to schedule out and I scheduled it for 1 p.m. And I can see that that's because that's at the 92% mark. So that's why I chose that time. And again, you can choose this for Twitter, which will show you a light blue gradient. Facebook, which is a darker blue, like you just saw the Instagram, which is a pinkish. And then TikTok, which is gray. I like to keep mine on Instagram, but again, personal preference. So that's how you use the best times feature. Use this to your advantage because it is a free feature and it is so, so helpful. Okay. Now that we have gone into the basic overview of all of these icons, I am also going to really quickly show you how to schedule out some content. So I'm actually going to toggle on over to the next week because I have already begun drafting some posts just for some time saving preferences. But here you go. So if you click on create a new post, this is the box that would pop up. So for example, I'm going to show you what that looks like. This is what a blank create new post would be. So. I'm going to go back to my draft post, but that was what this was previously. I added a photo, which is actually just this little photo button down here. You can click add image. It's going to pop up this box that says image upload from computer or from a URL, or you can even click to select and drag the file here. If I wanted to do a carousel, I could add in more graphics, but we're just going to do a single image post. And as you can see, I already have my caption prepped. So this is set right now for Instagram. We have it made super easily so that you can just toggle on what platform you wanna to post to of your connected platforms. So if I wanted to, I could toggle on Twitter if this was supposed to be for Twitter, or I could toggle on Facebook if it was supposed to be for Facebook. For the purposes of this, I want to show our multi-posting feature, which makes it even quicker for you to plan and schedule your content out across multiple platforms all at once. So. For example, this is right now just set to an Instagram post, but say I want to post it to Facebook and I also want to post it to LinkedIn. I can toggle all of these on and then you'll see here that an edit by network button is going to appear. You're going to want to click that edit by network button. Once you click that, you're going to see something that says template as well as the symbols for each individual platform that you toggled on. So the template is going to be your baseline, what you're working off of that's already been inputted in. When you start clicking into these individual posts, you'll see that it's going to ask if you want to click this button to stop using the current template and customize the post. You are going to want to click edit content and then make any of those changes you would like here. So for example, for Facebook, I might want to add a direct link. So let's say I want to directly link to Metricool. I can go ahead and grab that link and I can add it either at the end of the post or I'm going to use our first comment feature, which is another example of another really great free feature that we have. So I am going to put here, click here to create your free account, just to add another CTA to the post. And I'm gonna hit accept and then that's going to post as the first comment once this post goes live on Facebook. And you can use first comment for many different features. This is personal preference, of course. You can add CTAs, you can add a question, you can add hashtags, you can add links. Possibilities are endless with first comment. You can even add more information if you'd like. So then I'm gonna go over to Instagram, hit edit content. So for Instagram, this was pretty much already set, but what I will be doing is I will be going into first comment and I will be adding hashtags. So I can do social media, Pinterest, Pinterest, marketing, Pinterest, inspo, add as many hashtags as I would like there up to the cap, or I can just do a few. Then I'll go to LinkedIn, repeat the same process. And for LinkedIn, I'm going to want to do similar to Facebook. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to copy that link that I had, and I'm actually going to paste it in. And I'm going to show you here. What I would do is I would remove the question and I would paste that here. And that's another way that you can repurpose your content to different platforms by just making some small tw tweaks. And then you'll see here that this is what the post is gonna look like for each platform. So you click in, you can see how it looks like for Instagram, how it looks for Facebook, making it super streamlined and nice viewable for however you want your information to look for each specific platform. So once you like everything, you can go ahead and double check to make sure it all looks good and you can save it. So if we go down here, I have it as a draft. So let me go here. So let me take it off of the draft and I'm going to click on save. Also make sure you pick the selected date and time you desire. So I'm going to hit save 
And you'll see that when you save it, it actually saves as three individual posts. And we did this so that it's really easy for you to drag and drop where you want those posts to go. So for example, for Instagram, I wanna go here because it's at 97%, so that's the most optimal time. I can toggle on Facebook and I can see that here, 93%, the most optimal time. And I can just choose a spot for LinkedIn. So let's say I would go there. And that makes it easy if you decide that you want to move this post to further in the week or if you want to post it a little bit sooner, the drag and drop is making it super easy. So that's how you use our multi-posting feature. And if you do need to go back in and make edits, you can make edits for each individual platform as you please. I also really wanted to show how you can repurpose your content with short form videos as well. So I have already loaded in a video here, as you can see. And again, I already have it set to um, Instagram for a reel, but let's say I didn't just want to post this to reels. Let's say I wanted to post it as a YouTube short. So we would toggle on YouTube and short. And then we want to also post it as a Facebook Reel. And then let's say we also want to post it to TikTok. We're posting to all of the short form platforms with this. So you can do the same thing and you can click edit by network. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit by network. And I'm actually going to use the template. So let's say for legal purposes, this is a joke. Let's just make it super simple caption. Let's do work life, social media life, social media marketing. So I did a really quick caption, some really quick hashtags, and then you can see I can go in and individually edit. So maybe for Facebook, I would most likely keep the same captions for all of these. However, for YouTube, you will want to make sure that you go into your YouTube presets. And of course, we have nice little reminders down here so that you know if there are any errors before you can actually save the post. So for example, I want to do, I want to add a video title. So I want to just do when you are casually scrolling. So I will go ahead and add that. I'll check the privacy configuration. I'll say, yes, it's made for kids. And then that's all that's good with YouTube. And you can see that those reminders went away. And you can see that there are no current issues with any of the other ones. So that's all good. And then for Instagram specifically, I am also going to go in and you can I you can upload the video thumbnail, but I'm just going to select a cover. So let me pick a good cover. So that's what I want the cover to be. And now that everything looks good, I can look over here on my preview to see how it's going to look for all of these platforms. If you think that everything looks good, then you can go ahead and click save. Of course, pick your date and your desired time. So I'm going to go ahead and click save for all of those. And there you go. You can see that all four of those were scheduled out. And I'm going to do the exact same process. But let's say I wanted to move Instagram to a different day. So we'll toggle back on the best times. And let's move it to Friday. We'll move it here. We'll move TikTok as well to Friday. We'll see what those best times are. So we can move it here to the 88%. And then we can also just move YouTube and Facebook Reels back over here. So now you have your short, your Facebook and IG Reels, and your TikTok all nicely scheduled. Okay, now that I have shown you how to multi-post for both video content and static content, I am going to go ahead and show you just a couple of other features that we have available in our planner that are really valuable and will help you when it comes to scheduling out your content. So I'm actually going back into that Instagram post, and I just want to show you a couple of other features that we have. For example, if you click into these three little dots right here, you're going to see that you can actually edit your images. We do have an image editor. This is a graphic, so I normally wouldn't edit this, but I did want to show that we have a crop feature, we have a fine tuning feature, so brightness, contrast, saturation, all of those things. You can add filters, you can add stickers, you can draw, you can even add frames. And this is just a great little editor if you do need to make some final tweaks to a specific photo or even to like a graphic if you want to add some nice finishing touches. That's a really great way to not have to do it in an external app. Another thing I want to touch on is the aspect ratio because this is very important. Of course, you want your posts to be sized properly for each platform. So we actually have a lot of the popular platforms preset already in here. As you can see, there's Square, there's Instagram Landscape, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn Landscape, and you can also see those in portrait and story mode. So 
That's a quick little tip for you if you are looking to do a quick edit on your posts. We also have the ability to add alt text and the ability to tag people on Instagram and tag your product on Instagram. So I don't have a product I need to tag in this photo, but I can tag a user. So I would tag Pinterest, of course, because this post is talking about Pinterest. So make sure that you know their username and then you hit save and you'll see here that that tag has been added. You can exit out. And then the way that you know that the tag has worked is you'll see down here, a little tag symbol will appear and that's how you know that that tag has been added. I also really quickly want to touch on first comment again because it is probably the most popular in Instagram. So for first comment, you can add the first comment to your post and this is going to publish at the same time that your post publishes. So again, if you don't necessarily want your hashtags in the caption, if you wanna add a question, another CTA, you can do that all within first comment. And it'll also show you if you have something in there with this little blue dot right here. Continuing on with some Instagram specific features, we also offer the ability to see a pre feed preview. So over here, you'll see post and you'll see feed. If you click on feed, it'll show you what your upcoming feed is going to look like. And it even includes draft posts. So this is really nice if you are looking for a certain aesthetic or you want to make sure you like how your feed is gonna look, this is great for you to pre-plan out your content. And we can also talk about the hashtag search engine. So something that's really important for the hashtag search engine is that it is not a free feature. This is one of our premium features. If you were to just open this on a free account, you'll just see the generic most popular hashtags populate right here. But if you are on any of our premium accounts, you can use this to give you some hashtag inspiration or some hashtag help. The number of usages are here on the side and they are ordered by that number. This is available for both Instagram and TikTok. Of course, I'm just gonna use Instagram and I'm actually going to, let me think. So I want to look up something Pinterest related, of course. So let's say I just looked up generic Pinterest. It's going to start scanning for some popular Pinterest hashtags. So I can do Pinterest inspired, Pinterest photo, Pinterest aesthetic, and we make it really easy. You literally just click in and it'll add it into the post wherever your cursor is at. Of course, I'm not going to keep mine here. I would probably just add these three back into my first comment, but again, making it super simple and easy. And you can do this, you can do this search for many different hashtags if you are looking for some inspiration and you need, you, you're always using the same hashtags. This is a really great feature. The last thing that I want to talk about really quickly is our image bank. So if you go back into here to this little picture icon, video icon, you can see that it says add image, add video, stock images, stock videos, and the GIFs. So I want to go to stock images. Let's say, for example, I didn't have this Pinterest post. So let's say I didn't have that photo. Now I am in need of a photo for my Pinterest post. So I'd go here and I'd go to stock images. So for the stock images, I need something for Pinterest, right? So I can type in Pinterest and you'll see that posts relating to your keyword search will pop up and these are completely free to use. So if you don't necessarily have content for that day or you need to get a post up and you need it ASAP, this is great. So I could use this photo that says Pinterest and again, it makes it super easy. I can even still tag Pinterest in this, which is another great little feature. So this stock image feature will help you if you don't necessarily have content for every single day, which can happen sometimes. We also have stock videos, which is also super efficient. So that's just another tidbit if you didn't necessarily have a photo to post for that day. Okay, I have gotten out of those draft posts so that I can show you the overall calendar again. I really quickly want to show you at the top here that you can also preview your IG feed here by clicking and it's gonna load and it's gonna take you to an IG preview. So as you can see here is my video that I have was using as an example, as well as a draft post I have and the duplicate Pinterest post. So you'll nicely see it laid out here from the main page of the planner as well. In the next video, I am going to be going more in detail on a couple of our other features such as our auto list, our CSV template, and are also using UTM links and creating them. So make sure that you stay tuned for that because those will be your pro planning tips coming soon. And that was the planner feature. I know I gave a lot of information in this video, but my biggest piece of advice is to just get in there and start testing and trying out all of the different functionalities. You're going to be a pro in no time when it comes to scheduling out your social media content. As always, don't forget to check the description box for that code to try Metrical Premium for free for 30 days, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>